We're here with Jim Oblon. We got some hard hitting questions, and if you don't like any of them, you can hit me hard. <clears throat> How do you go about turning your influences into something new? <laughs> I kind of like a melody of an old tune and then I and I kind of think of like well oh but that would that that old song would sound good with this beat as opposed to the the original beat that it was set to and then from there maybe a riff will come out underneath it it's almost like a new version of an old song The best time for me to write to write stuff is when I wake up from a nap, or or, or like if I can't sleep at night or something, because then all of a sudden it's almost like in a tired state, and then you're a, you're like a, a twelve year old version of your adult self, yeah. and you don't know as many things. Do you ever feel more calm when you're sick than when you're well? I, th I think so. I well, I think sometimes too. There's a clarity, or or if you get sick and you feel you don't feel good, then you're just like that situation reminds me how I feel right now and you're like that situation sucks like but you uh, you maybe wouldn't be able to admit that to yourself when you, you were if you your, felt if you felt good you know yeah like you're like you have the flu and you're like my girlfriend doesn't love me yeah. I, I could tell you know what I mean like only at that moment can you admit right. to that it's true because when you get dumped on it feels like it was the flu yeah totally yeah so you have a day quill night quill and love quill yeah right right broken heart quill <laughs> Sometimes something might start with a riff, or there there might be like a play one that started with a riff. Well, um, right. So this other tune is called "No Streets of Gold," and then it would go to D. So it's an old, stupid, you know, chord progression that we've heard a million times. Yeah, you know. I mean, that's like, oh God. Uh, for some reason, I liked that riff. And then, and then, love my friend, and then, family. and then I thought about that Sun House riff, and I was just playing with that tonality, and then this came out, you know. And I thought how interesting that was, you know, harmonically. So it's, yeah. the, here's a, and, you know, this song is not a blues song at all, but a Sun House riff. Yeah. Kind of open my ears up to another tonality so okay. it's like pretty blues pretty blues in a way yeah. yeah and and i think those old guys maybe because they didn't have a traditional theory background because of, you know, just the infrastructure that time and what their lives were like but it seemed like they were open to all these possibilities it didn't make sense in, in, in particular but somehow they made sense emotionally you know so great thanks man yeah.